Hey, Vanine, our breakfast here with Disney Cats. My name is Rosie Ella Chinesca. My name is Terry Kaukinen. My name is uh, Lois Whitehead. My name is Alicia Wesley. My name is Jody Whitney. My name is um, Annie Swedek. Hi, my name is uh, Crystal. I'm Laura Carey. My name is Renata Smoke. My name is Norma Achnipaniskam. My name is Leanne Hall. The women of the Ring of Fire are like the land that surrounds them, diverse, magnificent, and enduring. As women have always done, they live, learn, work, and teach, sharing their skills to the best of their abilities, taking care of the people around them. The women of the Ring of Fire are mindful of their traditions. I was 16 when I, uh, my dad told me, I think it's about time you, you learn your own, uh, <laughs> your own way of life, you know, like you know how to speak English, you understand English, and you, you know, you can read English. He said that good enough, you know, you, you have to learn your language, you have to do the same thing for your language, and your heritage, your culture and tradition, you know. So he took us in the bush. He took me four years in the bush, trapping with my, with them before I got married to him. Crafts and we do traditional as well. <laughs> I think that our children have to learn um, all these traditions. It's just important that, you know, the kids carry on all this, otherwise, you know, we're going to lose it all. And, and I think it's our first step of coming here and showing them how important it is to, you know, to gain all this back because there is a lot of knowledge here. There is a lot to learn. Um, there's a lot of history here. And, you know, in all due time, we'll all get that back. But it's just going to take time. The women of the Ring of Fire are fully immersed in the present. It's really nice to be able to be here firsthand and be able to see the, the new core that comes in every day because it's, it's really exciting to be able to open up the boxes and be the first person that actually gets to see it. Well, you know, today the technology, you can Facebook with people that are a thousand miles away, hooking on the class, the wires, and yeah, it's pretty amazing. My name is Leanne Hall, and I'm the Vice President of Human Resources for Noront. I started my first business at the age of six. I sold strawberries, collected strawberries and sold them in front of my home and I always made sure to give a quart of strawberries to my elderly neighbors as a courtesy um, of doing business <laughs> with my company. <laughs> at the age of nine, um, I, one of my first positions was as a newspaper carrier and I won several awards as newspaper carrier of the year for the Hamilton Spectator. I take great pride in uh, that first stepping stone because my job was not only to deliver the newspaper paper on a daily basis, but it was to ensure that my customers were happy and satisfied. I work in Estrecan doing all things related to field geology. What I really like about my field and what made me go into it is that it gets to combine my love of traveling outdoors and science. And one thing that I really love about my job is that it's a good balance of office work and field work. So I get to get dirty in the field and I also get to clean up a little bit and do office work in Toronto. There's quite a few other girls with Noront. We have about 50% girls, 50% boys uh, within the company. Up at the camp, there are about maybe 10 girls at a time out of about 70. My job is uh, administrative clerk for Esker Camp. And I'm here from uh, Golder Associates to do some geotechnical drilling and look at the rock structures. So my official title is a geological assistant and what I do, it's sort of, I do a lot of different things. Um, I log the core, geotechnical logging, I also uh, work on some geophysical uh, operations. The women of the Ring of Fire, they are the guardians of the future. I think when you have a good foundation in a family, like 
that's where it all starts. We raised our kids in Kansas Lake. So from there they went to elementary school and then to high school. So they didn't really know the bush until about them here. Sometimes I help out at the school like when Lois calls me with the things she's doing, crafts and making those things. That's when I come to school and help her out. I get to fly around in helicopters. That's the way I get to work in the morning. Not many people can say that. And working with students, I notice that when they communicate with those ladies that come in, they talk more in their language. Even my grandkids call me teacher whenever they come home to my, to my house. The women of the Ring of Fire are mothers and daughters and sisters and wives. They are family. <laughs> I'll let him speak for now. <laughs> See, me and my wife been pretty happy together for the last 39 years. And, and we've been very supportive of each other. And to give that all that we, you know, husband and wife were. We're also our best buddies, and you know, so that's been a key to our re strong relationship because we always talk about stuff before we, we decide we're going to do. I have 35 grandchildren today, 35. I found through my life that uh, the children have to be thought. Uh, their heritage, their language, their uh, their life, their where they come from. This uh, time I decided to bring my two children, Hunter and Brooke, to the communities to participate in the Mining Matters Camp. My children are First Nation from the Sucker Creek First Nation in Northern Alberta, and it was a tremendous opportunity for them to become friends with the children of the Mining Matters camps to learn about their communities and to share their experiences as First Nations children and how together we can all learn about mining in our great country of ours by being together. And uh, again, it was an opportunity for me to share my love and of what I do with my children and then to also share it with other First Nations children. Uh, I have five sons and three daughters. I want them to be in school and to have their education. My son works in a <laughs> in a dollar on my Tender Bay. My uh, my son that graduated, he's been there for three years now, I'm trying to uh, get back to school. Like <laughs> I only I only did um up to eight. Like I got sick as a teenager, and I'm trying to get back to learn. <laughs> And that's why my one of my sons is in school right now, and he's he's finishing it right now. <laughs> that's the only way they wanna help their families, like to support their families and the kids that they're having. I told them that your mom is gonna go back to school, and you <laughs> have to get back in school. <laughs> The women of the Ring of Fire, they are community. Everyone does work as a team, and I think everyone goes out of their way to try and work as a team. Uh, I think everyone gets along very well. Um, it's I find it personally is like a family. Consultation really is about is information sharing. And so while Norant is educating on their company, their practices and the mining industry generally. In turn, the Aboriginal communities will educate Norant on, on how they live off the land and, and the importance of environmental integrity and protection and, and mitigating to the extent possible any potential impacts or effects to the land from this development. So that information exchange process is going to be very critical to generating support and understanding about, about this project and, and the mining industry generally. When I was working with younger ones, I used to sing with them in our language. 
Every time I saw them laying out there when I was walking by, they were singing. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> the women of the Ring of Fire care passionately about the land and the people living on it. My fundamental intent would be to reinforce, reinforce the fact that Noronk really is trying to do the right thing. You know, you have to learn, know these things before you go, and go into a relationship. You have to learn all these things first, how to cook and make moose eye moccasins and stuff like that. Yep. <laughs> so he took me out in the bush and that's where we went. It was back in, the, in our trap line at the Oscar River. That's what they call the ring of fire right now. <laughs> Heart, body and soul. The women of the Ring of Fire treasure their communities and are treasured in return. Wise, dedicated, respectful of tradition, adventurous, caring, hardworking, strong. We killed three moles one time. Uh, just paddling around around the island one time. One evening we uh, we seen uh, those three moles and. Uh, and my dad had, um, we asked our dad for the 30 30, and he said, uh, Well, he said, I'll give you three bullets. That's all I want to give you. And we killed three more. <laughs> our river, our life, that's our, our words for yeah, motto. Our river is our life because we, we live from the water when we drink the water and we use it for everything. And our life depends on it.